Hi guys, Heather with Feather Bear Designs. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests for uh, a tutorial on the Glitter Galaxy Cup. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, this video is going to have to be in a couple different parts and I'm going to try to do it completely start to finish and um, sh give you guys information about the exact time lapse of how long this is going to take. The design itself is not going to take long. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to give yourself a few days so that you can let each layer of glitter and color dry and cure before you plan to epoxy. Um, the issues that people are having with everything lifting off the cup after epoxy is because the Mod Podge underneath is not cured. Um, once that cures, you're not getting it off. And I know this from personal experience because I had one that was underneath my cabinet that I had to strip and I kind of put it off because I just I wasn't focusing on it. And after, I think probably two months, it sat underneath my cabinet. When I tried to strip it, it's been a nightmare. I literally had to sand the glitter off. So I know that if the Mod Podge is cured, it's not coming off, no matter how hot it gets. Because we, um, we have a swamp cooler at my house. Our house stays right around 85 to 90 degrees most of the time, and it's 112 degrees outside in the summer. So my cups are not coming loose from the heat. It's because they're cured. So starting off, right out of the gate this is going to be the first part of the video i am i'm using my little this is a shorty because i use this just when i'm glittering so this is the pvc with the football on the end and i'm using a mossy oak 20 ounce tumbler that i got at walmart that is already black i'm using a black cup because black is going to be my base color and i don't have to do 10 coats of black to get my cup to be black if i use a black cup so i'm going to put my little stick in there and then let me adjust this so you guys can see okay so the first thing that I do when I'm prepping a cup is I got these soap dispensers at Walmart it's glass and I keep my alcohol in it and it's got a little pump so what I do is I keep this handy and I just squirt it on a rag and I wipe down my cup completely with the alcohol before I start anything. This removes any residue from fingerprints, it removes any leftover adhesive from the label, all of that comes off. So really, I mean, you wanna make sure that the whole cup is really getting cleaned well. And then try your best not to touch the cup. That's why these are a godsend. So try to keep your fingers off the cup during the process. As usual, I am using Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge. Um, this works for me, guys. If it doesn't work for you, then please use whatever alternative works for you. Um, I like to stick to what's working for me. I have tried a couple different kinds and they just, they're not for me. So this is what I use. Please use whatever is comfortable for you. I'm gonna coat the entire cup with the Mod Podge. And it, when I first go through, I literally just slap it on like it's not pretty. So I just go all the way around the cup and just slap a fair amount on. And then I go back through and smooth. If there are lines in your Mod Podge, there will be lines in your glitter. And by lines, I mean those. If you can see that on your cup when you start the glitter process, you're going to see that in your glitter. So get rid of it. How I get rid of it is I brush the excess Mod Podge off of my brush, and then I just go over it again until there's no more of those chunky lines. All right, first things first, it's going to be the black glitter, and I will be using Ebony from Recollections, and I'm just going to cover the entire cup. Put this down so you guys can see the cup. I'm going to cover the entire cup in this glitter.
and I keep a large piece of paper down it catches all of my glitter I just dump it right back into the container shake it off and then do the bottom really quick All right, guys, so what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to put this aside on one of my holders and I'm going to let this layer dry for at least an hour. Um, if you're not in a hot place like I am, then you're going to want to give it a couple hours. You can tell it's dry by if you touch it and you can see your finger mark. It's not dry. Um, you want to be able to touch this and have it feel hard. You want the glitter to feel hard and crunchy underneath your finger to where it doesn't move if you run your finger over it, okay? So I will be back with the next steps. Okay, you guys, I am back with the second part of the Galaxy tutorial. Um, let me adjust the camera here. It's come so highly requested that I'm just going to go ahead and do another one. Um, this was the first Galaxy cup that I did. It has not been epoxied yet because it, it was an experiment and um, I've been so busy with orders that getting epoxy on that cup has just not been a priority. So I'm just going to recreate a little bit of what I did on that and show you guys how to use glitter to make a galaxy. Now I should have pulled this off before I started filming but I didn't so one second. Okay so as you guys saw before I started with a black tumbler that I coated with um, ebony from Recollections. Now we all know, anybody that's used black or ebony or any other version of black, um, this looks like tar once you epoxy it. It does not sparkle. But this is the base coat and we're gonna be adding other colors to it as well as bling into the epoxy. So all this is gonna shine back up and that's not gonna be an issue. The What I'm gonna be using is a couple different sized paint brushes and pull those out. Just a few different. I have some that are some that are flat and some that are pointed and I want a wider one. So this one. So I'm using I'll be using all of these. Okay, and I dump my Mod Podge into a little cup just so that I can dip into it easier without dipping into my container. And basically what we're going to do with this is random celestial patterns. So let's get right into it. I'm going to, let me see, how can I move this so that you can see and it's not super awkward. Okay, we'll do that. So the first color that I'm going to use, I think I'm going to start with um, Raspberry from Recollections and my bigger brush. And I'm just gonna dip right into my epoxy and I'm going to brush on, or my, not my epoxy, I'm sorry, I'm dipping into my Mod Podge. My brain, you guys, is fried. Dipping into my Mod Podge and I'm just gonna brush that on, starting at the top. And I'm literally gonna do this in a little bit of a swirl. So I'm starting at the top, working the Mod Podge down, and then I'm just going to smooth that out, fan out the Mod Podge. The trick to this is going to be very, very thin coats of Mod Podge. So I'm putting that Mod Podge on and I'm literally spreading it out to where it's just barely a sticky surface on there. And then I'm going to take my glitter from far away and I'm going to lightly, you see this? I'm going to lightly dust that pink glitter on there. Okay, 
So light dusting of the pink glitter. And I think I'm going to go in with Muse from my collections, which is, which is a dark purple. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do it from far away, and I'm just going to lightly dust. Some purple in there. Okay. So the reason why I stopped halfway down is because I'm doing such thin coats and I'm fanning it out. I don't want the Mod Podge to dry before I get my glitter down. So now I'm going to finish this same little swirl pattern to the bottom of the cup. So just take my Mod Podge, draw a line, and then literally fan that line out. Going back in with the raspberry from far away, lightly tap it and move your cup around so that it's not concentrating in one area. And then the muse again as well. I can go into any one of them. Sorry guys, brief pause there. So I just did the, fanned out the Mod Podge. Now I'm just going to take my brush that has a little bit of Mod Podge on it still. It's, it's wet, but it, I didn't dip it back in. And I'm going to go around all of the edges. And I'm just going to move those around so that there's no harsh edges. So that the colors are fanned out through the black. moving the brush along the edge of the glitter, kind of moving that glitter around so that it's not a stripe, it's more faded throughout the cup. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is create one of the, the galaxy swirls. So I'm going to go in with the blue. I'm going to use Marine from Recollections. And I'm going to take one of the smaller brushes. This one. And I'm literally just going to create a swirl on here. I'm going to take a little bit of Mod Podge and I'm just fanning it out, just fanning out that swirl so that it's not a stark line, so that it's, I can blend the colors out into the black. Okay, just working my brush back and forth, moving that Mod Podge out so that my colors will blend into the black. Okay, again, it's a really thin layer of Mod Podge. You don't need a lot. This is, does not need to be bulky. 
Let me grab another paper to put down here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna hold my glitter high above my cup and I'm just going to lightly tap that blue onto where I just Mod Podged. There it is. But you guys don't need very much Mod Podge to do this, honestly. It will stick. Okay. So the swirls look better when you do a couple different colors through them, like not even in frame. So I'm going to go right inside of that blue with my brush and a little tiny bit of Mod Podge. I'm going right inside the blue and I'm taking the Mod Podge and I'm just kind of working it around. And I'm going to take the bling and I'm going to sprinkle the bling on there. There's a swirl. 